Dear students, detailed civil engineering courses like Manual Building Design, Stat Pro, ETAP, SAP, Revert, AutoCAD, Primavera, P6 are available at Civil Engineering Stavan online application app. So download the application from the Google Play Store now. Each course contains 50 plus high quality video contents and free PDFs and exercises and online certification will be provided after completing the course. Course will be available at 67 to 70% discount now and valid up to 6 months. Download Civil Engineering application now from Google Play Store or direct link is available at the description of this video. Try to utilize this offer. So in this video, I will explain you complete earthquake load analysis of building structural model by using ETAP software. So I will upload the introduction part of the seismic load analysis which I was already made in StatPro software. The introduction part is same in ETAP software also. I will upload the same video in this course also. So you can able to see the complete uh, PDF which is related to the seismic zone. So you can read the complete uh, concepts related to the seismic zones in this uh, particular section. I will attach this PDF also. So you can read that particular PDF and you can watch that uh, introduction part of this is a seismic loading analysis by using IS-1893 codebook provision standard system. So now we will continue with complete analysis of seismic analysis of building by using uh, ETAP software. So basically seismic loading analysis is important in building structural model in order to uh, design the earthquake resistant model with the different types of methodologies. So for that reason only we need to do the seismic analysis condition system. So here I am opening my model which I was already done which is of G plus Y building model in my previous video. So for that particular model only I will explain you the seismic analysis. In my next video I will explain you the wind loading analysis. So this is the building model. I was already done the complete uh, designing process for this building model under the considerations of the gravity loading condition system. So firstly I will unlock this model. So click on the unlock model. Click on OK. So basically seismic load will be consisting of different types of the seismic zones like zone 2, zone 3, zone 4, zone 5. So in this condition system just I am assuming zone 5 seismic condition system. So go to define option. Just I am selecting here as uh, load patterns option. So here it will be consisting of dead loading condition, live loading condition system. Firstly we will define the earthquake load in x direction condition system. Select the type which is related to seismic condition system and give the code book according to IS-1893-2016 code. So firstly we will add this code book. Again in the same process we will define the seismic loading condition in y direction condition also. Click on add this code. So here I was added earthquake loading condition system in both x direction condition system as well as the y direction condition system. Firstly we will select the earthquake loading condition system. Again click to it will be having four uh, options related to add new, modify, modify lateral load, delete. If you want to delete this particular load you can delete here. If you want to modify this parameters which is involved in this uh, earthquake loading x direction you can select here and if you want to modify load you can modify and if you want to add new load you can add here. Firstly I am selecting this uh, earthquake loading x direction according to my assumption I need to modify this particular properties. So basically seismic loading condition system I am assuming zone 5 with the response reduction factor as 5 percentage in this study. So click on the modify lateral load option. So it is consisting of the direction and eccentricity values and seismic coefficients. So basically in this EQX we are taken only the load case which is in X direction condition system. So that's why just I am selecting direction is X. If you want to calculate the eccentricity 
you can follow the IS 1893-2016 codebook. It is having complete procedure for calculating the eccentricity. If it doesn't require the eccentricity, you can put as program calculated value so that it will calculate directly according to your dimensions and according to your geometry of the building. So here I am selecting seismic zone factor which is consisting of the factor as 0 0.1, 0 0.16, 0 0.24, 0 0.36 which is related to zone 2, zone 3, zone 4, zone 5 condition system. So here I am selecting high seismic zone, very high seismic zone which is of 0 0.36 factor and next we have to select the site type which is related to the loose soil condition, medium soil condition, rock soil condition. Basically we will use only medium soil condition we will prefer in the building construction process and importance factor I am assuming here as 1 and range from base to 5th story and response reduction factor is 5 percentage I am assuming according to my definition. Click on OK option. After this we will select the earthquake load in y direction condition. So here also we have to modify the parameters. So here I am selecting this modify lateral load. Select the direction which is approximately in y direction condition system. So select the per code value is 0 0.36 from this input and select the site type is 2 and importance factor is 1. Again we will calculate the response reduction is 5. Click on OK. Again we will click on OK. So after defining this load cases, we need to assign load combinations according to this loading cases. So for that go to define option, select the load combination sections. So here we can add the load combinations according to default design combinations. So here I am selecting define design combination for concrete frame slab section, click on add option. So that it will add the load combinations here like this, click on OK option. So that it will add the load combination section for the building. Now we will do the analysis process for this building. So go to click on the run analysis option with the considerations of the earthquake loading condition system in both X and Y direction condition. No need to apply the separate loading condition system after defining. So if you define the parameters, the seismic load will be directly taken by the ETAP software and it will be directly give the output results regarding that seismic loading condition. No need to apply those loads which is related to earthquake load in X, earthquake load in Y by selecting all the frame sections uh, individually after defining section. Only definition is enough in ETAP software, no need to apply those load cases according to seismic. So now we can see this is the deflection diagram which is displayed in dead loading condition system. But if you want to display this particular diagram according to seismic loading condition, go to click on display option, select the deform sheet, you can select the load case related to earthquake load X. Click on apply option so that it will show you the complete displacement diagram which is displayed in this horizontal direction. I will show you the elevation view for that. Click on elevation view. This time selecting here as A level. So you can see here it is uh, not A, it is 1. We have to select. Click on OK. So here you can see here. So due to the presence of the seismic loading condition in X direction, the building is deflecting in a horizontal condition system. It will load the deflection diagram after some time. You can see here due to the presence of the seismic loading in X direction it is reflecting in this case. Again in the same process we will see the result which is related to A which is comes under the earthquake load in Y direction condition deflection. So here I am selecting load case which is of earthquake Y click on apply option so that it will display the deflection diagram which is related to earthquake load in Y direction condition system. So it is loading here. This is the deflection diagram due to the presence of the earthquake load in y-direction conditions. So after this we will see the result which is related to the shear force diagram, bending one diagram under the considerations of the earthquake loading x, earthquake loading y-direction condition. 
So for that go to display option, forces option, select spandrilla force, select the load case according to earthquake load X, select shear to to click on apply so that it will display the diagram which is related to shear force diagram. Again we will select the shear 3 3, it will display the diagram which is related to shear y direction condition. Moment 2 2 option we will select click on apply so that it will display the bending moment diagram for this particular structure. In the same process you can select the moment 3 3 click on apply option so that it will display the complete bending moment diagram for this particular structure. In the same process you can select the load case related to earthquake y click on apply so that it will display the here. Again in the same process you can select the moment 3 3 click on apply so that it will display the moment diagram for this particular direction. So in this way you have to do the seismic analysis by using ETAP software. So in my upcoming video I will explain you complete details about the uh, wind loading analysis by using ETAP software.